we had a, a product, Mojo, um, that uh, has been incredibly successful around the world. With, with Mojo, it was always about the phone. We weren't selling to audiophiles necessarily, we were selling to downloading guys using their phone. The problem with phones, if you load them up with too much music, you don't have enough for videos, you know, family stuff. Wouldn't it be great if we could turn Mojo into a player? If we could take a very high power PC, shrink it down to absolutely small dimensions, that we could throw all the information, all the metadata um, from, say, the music on a, an SD card, we could throw that up to the phone. After all, the phone has the best display and interface. I felt, okay, if we can throw all the information up in real time, so that there is no lag or delay between the two products, then we could end up with a product which is really very usable because Polly and Mojo together, obviously in a case, will just slip into, into a pocket and then you forget it. Okay, you've got your earphones in, Polly in your pocket, but all of the information will come up to the phone. And, and that was really the concept. I really think that we're going to take this uh, uh, concept over to Hugo 2 as well. Uh, so we're going to have a whole, whole range of devices utilizing this very advanced concept. The problem was to do it in order to shrink uh, what is a very powerful computer down to um, very small proportions, it, it actually technically very, very difficult. The, the technology that we've had to use within the printed circuit board is very, very advanced. It's actually because the dimensions are so small. There is a 10 layer circuit board. So 10 layers is very difficult, very expensive to do. And also we've got something like 4,000 buried via holes. Now that means that the vias between, between layers in the circuit board, um, they're all cut by laser and that because they are so small, but also they never come to the surface of the board. Normally on a printed circuit board, you see little dots where, where, the, where the vias go through from one layer to another. Well, with this product, they don't even come to the surface. They're buried, and it's a very difficult process. The other thing uh, that was also uh, difficult to do was, was make a, a very high-powered PC run with very little juice, very little power. And so what we had to do there was we use a, um, a high-level ARM processor with multiple cores, and we switched the cores on with software, and then, then when we, we finished, um, when it's finished doing a certain function, we just switch them back off again. And that gives us a nine hour battery life. Polly is plugged into Mojo. The most important thing is that you can actually power both, uh, charge both units through the one uh, interface. And it's quite an intelligent charging system that if this needs the power and this doesn't, the power, all the power goes to the Mojo and vice versa. With, with Polly and Mojo together, it doesn't really matter where the music is. You can have music here on the SD. The music can be on your NAS drive at home. Airplay from the phone. Polly has its own hotspot so that um, you don't need to use the phone's hotspot uh, in, in, in that application. Polly looks a simple device. It's not, it's very clever. Uh, it's very, very difficult to do. That's why it took us uh, about uh, nine months longer than uh, than we anticipated because we first started talking about this product in January um, this year and it's taken us until now until to get into production. The Hugo 2 has the same chip that Mojo has. Uh, we, we use a, a large scale uh, FPGA from Xilinx and uh, this got the, set, the, the, the next generation chip uh, that, that Hugo 2 now has. Um, we had to uh, change the way that we, that we work within Mojo to keep the power down, uh, but fundamentally it's the same, it's the same chip design. You see, we don't use standard uh, DAC chips. We actually construct our DACs using uh, a, a very advanced technology. And so Mojo has about 500 times the digital processing that a normal um, DAC would have to reconstruct the digital waveform much more in, in an analog way. So we have um, a, a very advanced DAC so by marrying that now with a very advanced playback system 
uh, really it, it's a very advanced product and so there's no intention uh, or no need uh, to produce a, 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 a Mojo Mark II. We, we, that it's not even on our plans um, you know, for, the, for, the, for the future at the moment. Is Code Products support MQA? We, we only believe in, in a, using the first unfolding. The, the, our DAX are, are far more, imp, uh, far more uh, they have a better performance than MQA. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, so this is now the first Gregory Porter's new album is, is, on Tidal. is okay, but we don't do anything else on, on the second album. Want me to take it off? Have, have the camera. We don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it. It's better. It's better the way. It is.